Hey man. See, I'm back to here. I'm here to talk to y'all about this. I'm being in the mirror and take uh stuff going on. We, I'm, we we hearing it first from DJ Academics, my nigga, because you know he dig up the dirt on everything. I ain't even know nothing was going on, <laughs> going on, but I knew eventually something probably was gonna go on because just the way I I don't know, just the way the world is, niggas. How they started when my being in the mirror came out, they was comparing them to asking who was the best and stuff like that. I knew it was gonna eventually come to this. I knew it wasn't just gonna be all straight. So. We got to see what TK got to say. You know the nigga in jail, right, on two murders. The nigga don't even know if he getting out of jail. And apparently he talking about what he going to do to a nigga when he do get out. My nigga, they ain't finna let you out, my nigga. I hope you get out, but I don't think they finna let you out, my nigga. So, let's watch this video. You don't like what I be in? No, bro, this nigga trying to be like me, bro. This shit lame, bro. Like, this nigga trying to get clout off my name, like... Yeah. I'm, I'm like, I don't... I'm gonna I'm keep this shit, like, low key, but, like, when I see him and he trying to dab me up, then I'm gonna beat him. Check it up, check it up. Now, Ivan, I'm sorry I gotta address this stupid-ass shit, but, uh... That's TK, who's currently locked up on two murders, talking about when he gets out of jail, whenever he's free, whenever he's back on the streets... <laughs> When he see GTA player who got all the goddamn clout, all the cheat codes, all the money codes. Nigga when ain't he get out of jail. He's gonna slap the fuck out of him for a dick <laughs> riding his wave and trying to steal. That nigga. Now, that nigga K, missing, man, man. If that's what you in jail worried about, bro, you worried about the wrong thing. Okay? Now, that's I'm what I'm you saying. Credit. You put out a phenomenal uh, body of work. Obviously, I don't believe you were at your full formed peak of your career when you produced that so the mere fact you produced that all before you got locked up shot music videos while you were on the run tremendous job hats off to you okay now this whole thing where you're accusing YB in the mirror of stealing cloud or whatever and I'm not defending YB in the mirror on that okay you might be stealing cloud nigga I don't know anyway to me it just doesn't fucking matter okay and it doesn't matter for a couple of reasons number one nigga you're in jail okay you're in jail and you're in jail for murder okay right number two this is a actual fact, all right? And I know this because I have... Well, fuck all my sources. I know this is a fact. At one point, uh, Tay-K and YB and Namir, this deal, and I'm talking about their record deals, were being shopped together, okay? They were asking labels for two and a half million, if not three. Most labels were saying, why the fuck would we want to do that? <laughs> Tay-K is in jail. They then, hey. and that's what I'm saying, there was a production company that signed both of them or had both both of their deals being shopped. They put them together because they're saying, one nigga's in jail, how do we leverage it that people could still sign and still have a option that they could put out music with and market now and work with now? And that was why be in the mirror. Okay? Now, parent... Hold on. So, what do you mean? Like, they, they deals, they record deals gonna be together? So basically, what he, I don't know. I don't know if that's what he's saying, but that's what I'm thinking he's saying, how he said it. So I'll be in really helping this nigga. So take K really getting a check off of what i in, basically. I think that's what he's saying. Let's continue watching, though. Parents had to get involved because both of these niggas are minors, I think. I, well, actually, I don't know too much about YB and Namiri. I think he might be 18. However, at the time, they're minors, okay? So parents got to sign off all of that. And also, we, all know, we also know take K's in jail. So for all that to happen, both these parties had to give consent, whether through themselves or through their parents, which means they were complicit in having their deals shopped together. You know what happens when you're shopping a deal like that together? Now, a lot of your stuff are going to kind of be mingling up. Yes, that clout you had from your dope-ass song, The Race, which the fader called the best song of 2017. Yes, some of that clout's going to go, and they're going to be associated with YB in the Mirror. So again, do I think it's just YB in the Mirror stealing clout? No, because the behind-the-scenes His clout probably bigger than yours, man. That, by the way, you can imagine that TK's people is also trying to do to secure the bag. It's also associated with YBN Namir. And I don't see it as YBN Namir just completely dick riding. Seems like it's business more than anything else. 
But you can imagine now why be in the mirror who just signed to a different record label that Tay K is not on. It looks like since their deal probably got split up, Tay K also is probably looking at it like, damn, this nigga probably used and capitalized off the buzz of my songs. And I mean, for all intents and purposes, and no disrespect, why be the mirror got like one song, right? That one song that's really, really buzzing. And he has obviously that's came it. up off that. That's honestly the perks of being free. Ah. And, and I'm sorry to tell uh, Tay K that, but that's just the, the, the facts, okay? Get a comment, watch what you guys like, and subscribe. Unfortunately, so. I don't think this is a clout chasing thing. Behind the scenes, y'all were linked up in terms of trying to shop a deal. One nigga just happens to be free, the other is not. So he ain't steal your clout. That nigga just on the other side of the jail cell. Sorry to say. Get a comment, watch what you guys like, and subscribe. Real Bye. talk. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, like. I don't even know if TK really even seen this man before. Like, seen a picture of him or anything. <laughs> he in jail. I think he in maximum security, but, uh. Yeah, but. I, from what I'm hearing, they deals was together. And then TK just left. I mean, not TK, but YBN just left off the deal with him or whatever. And got him stuck by himself. Because he only got, uh, like, a few hit songs. And he in jail, so he can't make no more money. So basically, TK was making his money off of YBN. Basically, what he's saying, I think. But y'all, y'all, if I'm wrong, I could be wrong. Y'all, let me know in the comment section, bro. Or Instagram or something. It's your boy, Sad Prince, man. And I'm out, bro.